大家好，我是杰米，我来自普隆地。今天我在介绍我的国家。我的国家在非洲，你们都知道。Burundi is in Africa. East Africa is land rock. For the north is Rwanda. The east is Tanzania, and the west is Congo. Burundi flag. Has a really deep meaning that has three colors. One is red color, means the struggle of the country. The second is green, means the patriot of the country. The third is peace. Those three stars represent three ethnic. Those three ethnic means Tutsi, Hutu, Twa. And official language in Burundi, the first is our mother tongue is Kirundi, the second is French, Bonjour, French, and English is used as the official language too since in this generation. So I can tell you a little story about Burundi. Since back years, Burundi and Rwanda used to be the same country. Example. My mother is from Rwanda and my father is from Burundi. I'm a mixture. I'm Burundi Rwanda. Yes, this is how the two countries get separated. You will see later. So here I'm going to show you my my city where I came from. The picture you see here is Bujumbura city. So Bujumbura city is the capital of Burundi. Burundi has divided the cities, uh, one city for economic papers and another one for the administrative uh, city. The one is Gitega. Gitega is a city of uh, administrative political city, and Bu Bujumbura is a business city. So I'm from Bujumbura city. I'm going to show you something am amazing here. The next picture that you're seeing on, on the camera, on, a, on, a, on, on the screen, is how Burundi get in uh, development. So since back years, we have what we call a traditional houses. But those traditional houses now, people, they build a beautiful apartment. Maybe you are, you are still seeing on, a, uh, on the internet or where, whatever, but Burundi has the beautiful apartment too. Back to the, is a quite different with uh, the past time. Here, I'm going to show you the picture of the missionaries came in Burundi, the first church built in Burundi. So here on the screen, you see it. It has more than a hundred years built in Burundi. Well, I'm going to show you how missionaries succeed in spreading the new gospel of Christ. So first they came as missionaries and they fell. They fell more and more and more and many of people were killed because Burundi uh, rely on their ancestors' God, small God. So here I'm going to explain to you how they succeeded. So as I told you before, we have three ethnics. Ethnics was divided, divided by the colonies. So the, the longest people are called Tutsi, the, the middle people are called Hutu, the small ones are called Twa. Those people, it's the divisions between Burundians there. So after that, Burundi on the really history in Christianity, and it was really successful science, the, tri the, the ethnic of Tutsi, they accepted the, the, the Western religions that we call now Christianity. So they, therefore, Christianity were dominated since that day. Well, I can't talk all the things and finish, but I have the very impressive, you can ask me, how is Burundi? So I'm going to show you some places that I, just choose where you can visit in Burundi. So I choose some places. Uh, we have 15 places that you can visit, but I'm not going to talk all. So the first one we have Lake Tanganyika is in Burundi. 
Rusizi River National Park, and we have Ruvubu National Park, we have Kigwena National Park, we have Gitega, where now is the, um, the economic city. So you can visit as well Mountain Heha, you can visit as well Sos Dinil, and you can visit as well Shirtedo Carrera, and you can visit as well Vianda National Reserve. So Lake Tanganyika is a cool lake in East Africa. If you want to visit East Africa, you need to go to see Lake Tanganyika. Lake Tanganyika, its beach really, really amazing. And God has created amazing things inside of Burundi. And our richness is uh, our nature. So when you go to Burundi, please visit Lake Tanganyika. Uh, the second one is Rusizi River National Park is a river that dominated it with hypos. So what is hypos? You know, um, you know about hypos. Burundi is only the place, I can, one of the places that has the more hypos than in other corners in East Africa. The third one, the following one is Ruvubu National Park. It's dominated with buffaloes, eh, without forgetting monkeys. So when you get in Ruvubu National Park, what do you see first? You will be welcomed by the monkeys. Oh, I can't forget this rainforest. That is called Kirira Rainforest. So this rainforest is a historical rainforest. It connected many countries across the East Africa. It's in Burundi, it's in Congo, it's in Rwanda, it's in Uganda, and it go far and far. This is more, more special that uh, I can tell you about the uh, Kibira National Park. So here we go. It's like the last one. Ah, the most important I can explain to you is an, a drum, a loyal drum. A loyal drum has each part like a body, a human body. As a, uh, we human, we have hair, we have eyes, we have hands, we have feet and lips, it has a lips as well, it has a forehead, the human body, all the human body, you can see it. So the meaning of that one, you can ask me this one, but you know what? Girls are not allowed to play loyal drum. You know why? Because drum represent girls. <laughs> this is why, you can see the body of this drum, it's a, a girl, body names, right? And a girl is not allowed to beat herself, herself, right? This is what I mean. A girl is allowed to pray the, the, the melody of drum, but is not allowed to pray a drum. This is a mistake, a great mistake. And if you do that, you are in trouble in Burundi. Yes, okay. Ladies are not allowed to pray this loyal drum, but they're allowed to, to dance, all right? Therefore, the following one is a source of Nil. Source of Nil, what is the source of Nil? So source of Nil was being founded to the back years. So they've been reaching where there is a source of Nil. Uh, it's been found in Burundi, in the middle of Burundi, and it's where it gives water to the Egypt. <laughs> so strange, God is so amazing. Is a powerful God, right? So imagine the source is coming in my country, then it goes to the Egypt since back years, right? So this is how Burundi is. While they find the, the source of Nile in my country, they built a pyramid to show that this it help Egyptian people, the citizen of Egypt. So how it is shown inside as well? This is the water, pure, a hundred percent pure water. Just you don't need to, to clean it without any cleaning. You, you don't need to do anything for it. You need to drink it without any problem. All right, the culture, I'm not going to talk more about the culture because I've been, it, it can take a long time. Yes, maybe in the next, in the next video, I will just explain about the culture, Burundian's culture. But the only thing is because many people are doing weddings and marriage, I'm going to show you how traditional marriage in Burundi, how there was traditional uh, wedding in Burundi. So here, let's go. The wedding, how they, they wear, the class, quite different. It's really expensive as well. So you can think traditional is 
it's, it's cheaper. No. If you want to do a traditional wedding in my country, it's really expensive than a Western wedding. It takes like two weeks or one month doing a traditional wedding. Oh my God, you can't finish this one, all right? This might be the end of my, my presentation of Burundi, but I didn't mention more about the food, about the other stuff. But uh, what I can tell you, if you go to Burundi, you can say, how, how can I say greet someone in, in Burundi? They use what is called Amahoro. Amahoro. Hope you learned that, right? Amahoro, what does it mean? Anyone that you can greet, you say Amahoro. That is a really polite greeting. That means Ping An. So that one we use traditionally everywhere. You can greet a Muslim people, you can greet anybody in my country. Since it's traditional, they say Amahoro. This generation we use Bite, Nisawa. A say Bite, B say Nisawa. Bite, Nisawa. This is how we greet in Burundi. All right, so this is the end, and I hope you will come to Burundi and visit. If I will get the next chance, I will explain to you about food and other stuff as well. It's really brilliant. Thank you, everybody. Hope to see you next time.